many feel were nothing more than the thoughts and feelings that are prompted in our brain by what's happening outside in our world. But if you are mindful of those thoughts and feelings and you choose to live a better life, remember, you create your own world. So if you choose to live in a better world, a utopian world, then you will be there. It's all your choice. Well, let's talk about what happens to our brain when we fall in love. I think it's important to say that we fall in love, not the brain. The brain carries out the physical expression of that love. And from my understanding, I know that when you are feeling that feeling of love, you make oxytocin, which is supposed to be a bonding hormone, the love hormone. You make dopamine, uh, which is an antidepressant, serotonin, which increases self-esteem, and then opiates, which give you that high feeling, the intoxication, if you will, yes. of love. So the intoxication of love has its own chemistry. What, what I've also found out recently is that all these chemicals are immunomodulators. They modulate the activity of the immune system because there are receptors to these. So um, the brain in love? Well, I think we know that there are many neurochemical changes, very intense ones, mm -hmm. when one is falling in love, especially if they're young and infatuated. Mm -hmm. So the first question I think about is, if I'm a young single guy and there are two women in front of me, and both are, are equally beautiful, but one of them, she just, I look at her, she's another woman. But the other one, for some reason, I don't know her, but love at first sight. So who knows how many cues are coming from this beautiful woman versus that, that makes me say, I need to meet this person. And now, later, she's, she's gone, and I keep thinking about her. And I want to find this person again, meet them again. Maybe, like I used to do, you put an ad in, you know, I saw you on the train at 3 o'clock. What makes that happen? What makes that happen are cues that involve the entire body. So smell, sight, things we don't know about. The brain allows you to react to the fact that you are somehow falling in love, but it's your entire existence. It's all of your sensory systems, things that are happening that cannot be readily explained that allow you to fall in love with one person versus another. Some would say it's just pheromones, mm -hmm. you know, which you can smell subtly but don't know you're smelling. But it's probably more than that. And there's memory involved, perhaps, uh, that goes back to previous experiences that influences the, the interaction right now or the charge right now. Uh, perhaps this woman reminds sure. me of my mother or, sure. you know, somebody that I loved before, etc. So it's very complex, but the brain definitely changes when you're in love, in a healthy way, right? Yes, as soon as your brain, for whatever reason that you have now fallen in love, uh, a memory of your mom's face or, or new cues, either way, your brain is simply allowing you to register that and express it, but that's not the same as saying that your brain has fallen in love. Your brain is allowing you to experience it. At that point, you must ask, are you now completely a servant to this new neurochemistry? is taking you over as you fall in love, or are you still in charge? You being the real you, not just your brain.